All right, I thought I'd finally do a shop update part two. So, as you can remember, the lighting in here sucked pretty bad. I just had three front lights and the whole back area was not lit and everything. So it was pretty hard to work in here. Well, as you can see, I've now changed that. Now I have a lot of light. You can see that I have put up that uh, fluorescent light there. <coughs> I have put up, so these are the ones I had up over before. And I put up a new one because I actually broke that floodlight. So these floodlights and that one over there are pretty good, like 1200, 1100 looms. And then I put two long ways over here. Now, this side of the garage, you probably need to have the same thing. One up there and two over here. Um, and those are um, these Phillips, Phillips Daylights. And they are, well, 32 watts, 40 inches. The looms on them is... 2750 so <clears throat> it's pretty high so as you can see I can see everything in here now finally okay and I haven't done anything with this bike yet this is my 2004 Mako 500 which has an ATK import as you can see from the tag here um, and again, it has Mako shaved off of the cylinder. <laughs> and it's still on the side case here, though. Not really, it's even been shaved off there, so. It is a Mako engine now, but it's all the remnants of a, where it said Mako are shaved off, because it's an ATK. And of course, the 86 M-Star 500, 1982, Mako 490. Then this one here is torn apart. The other 2004 original Mako 500 with uh, 2005 upgrades. These two bikes. Um, this one here I eventually got to sell. It's not mine. It's a friend of mine's. And he moved to KX85 2011. So if anybody wants that bike, let me know. And of course, the 83 Mako 490. Trying to look at how to put disc brakes on the back of it. The 96 Mako 440, which still taking the to up top end and everything. Well, so now look at the shop. Of course, I have these here. This is like 12, 1800 looms, 1850, I think. These are LEDs. I like the LED lights. The LED lights are uh, low cost as far as. Um, how whenever you run them, they're very energy efficient as far as uh, electric bill. And they're extremely bright. So, and if they weren't bright, I wouldn't care about the low cost because it's more important to be able to see. But uh, it's just a benefit that they run cool and low cost and they put out great light. So I also have this one over here. As you can see, then I have this setup over here. See so having the light up there and these lights in here. And of course the Mako. A lot of pistons. Um, in the shop here I do have a little Mako rag. And the Mako posters. Um, of course the Mako <coughs> uh, banner. There's some nice storage up there. Um, so, and of course I have my air compressor over here. I got the pull out, it's very nice. This is a bag full, of, a basket full of all the air compressor parts. And here we have air compressor tools. <laughs> so, and um, then I have this one which is on wheels. Right now I have my Mako engineer. 500. 
This here is also on wheels. This here I put all my drill stuff in. Drill and grinder stuff and saw stuff. Impact stuff. Of course in here I have all my special tools, you know. Clutch holder for a Mako. Holder. Bible holder. Shot. Timing stuff. Pressure tester. Cat the calipers. And all these are the easy access type of tools. Sockets were there. I think it's sticking. Oh, there's regular sockets. Bearing pullers in here. Okay. Pullers. Case splitter. Okay, pullers. Lots of pullers. And is, yeah. Yeah, really good. So, of course, here I have my 12 ton press. Came in handy. Very cheap. It was only $120 at Harper Freight. The um, it's definitely the uh, yeah, not very sturdy or anything. It's not the greatest thing, but for what I need to do, it's 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 more than enough. I just push bearings in and out. Yeah, it's very cheap. Um, if it's, since I don't use it all the time, um, yeah, I've had it for probably six years, and it's held up pretty good so uh, and the air compressor is definitely something that every shop should have I mean you're gonna blow up your tires on it with it you're gonna uh, be able to use air tools um, one of the things I want to make sure you you want to make sure is SCM how many SCM is this and as you can see on this one here the airflow is 5 SCM or sorry, SCFM at 90 and 6 CSFM at 40. I would recommend you get something that's at least 5 SCFM at 90. At least 5. A lot of the ones at um, Lowe's and everything are less than that. This one was a cheap one. It was only like $120 or something like that at, at Harbor Freight many years back. But... Um, it's hard to find something higher than that, but at Lowe's you can pay $300 and get one that's like four, three SCFM, and that's how much airflow has to do with airflow, how much of it can come out that or that pressure. And these tools, I mean, this one here actually says it would like to have seven, you know, but um, this one here I know has five, and it seems that five. Um, uh, for the for the most part is is what you need. I mean, I only have five. That seems pretty good. But when I had ones that had less, I had a cheap one at fifty dollars, and have I don't even know what it had, but it, it didn't run those air tools worth nothing. So, um, yep. Okay. This is my bench now. Has my uh, vice on it. Shelves. I still have some more shelves to put up. I haven't put up. I have some bike parts laying around everywhere. Um, I also have my motor in here put together. Yeah, you can see in here. There's brackets, stuff, drill, put a motor down there. Let's see over here. I got these bearings. I got cheap wool bearings. You can get them on bulk for a pretty decent price. So I gotten all these wheel bearings. Luckily, the Lycos, most of them have the same, so it ends up working out to have a lot of, a lot of these wheel bearings. Of course, spare tires and stuff. These are seals for, for Mako forks. So I've got a couple of chains, spare chains. Just waiting to be used. 
I was gonna order a little bit of stuff here. And here I actually have gear sets. I have a 250 Mako gear set, another Mako gear set. I think it also 250. One of them had grenaded though. I don't know, maybe 490, but I have gear sets in both those boxes. <coughs> Extra gear sets. Yeah, I think one's a 250, uh, make 86 Mako though. Um, so, of course, you got a bunch of pipes up there. A whole bunch of stuff up there. Um, so, yeah, the other thing is. Um, the, make sure you watch um, TV show uh, American Pickers, the Mega Pick episode. It first aired April 2nd on Wednesday, 2014. Um, it has my name in the credits, and there's a Mako on the on the uh, uh, in the episode. So, anyhow. <laughs>